This video will show you how to diagnose a throttle position sensor or a TPS sensor using AutoTap. The throttle position sensor is an electromechanical sensor most typically, so it has some failure modes. It can actually wear out and give the engine bad data that makes the fuel system very confused about how much fuel to inject. So we're going to show you with AutoTap how you can very easily check for that. Now this would be very hard to do with a, a regular scan tool with just a numeric display. Uh, once again, the power of being able to graph the values is uh, really essential in the sensor. So I've got AutoTap connected to my vehicle right now. I've got the ignition on, but the engine is off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is insert a graph, and I'm going to select the parameter to put on that graph, which is going to be my throttle position sensor. So here's my list of everything that happens to be supported on this GM van, uh, quite a long list. And we'll scroll down here to the throttle position sensor. There we go. Okay, it's now on my graph. Now AutoTap will automatically adjust this y-axis, um, but since I'm going to be stepping on the gas to make that sensor change voltages, and I want the graph to be jumping around for the purposes of this video, I'm going to fix those to a fixed value. So I'll click the Advanced button, and instead of having an automatic y-axis, I want it to go from 0 to 5 volts. Okay, now I have a graph going from 0 to 5 volts, and you can see right now I'm sitting without touching the gas uh, at all, I'm down about 0.5 volts. So what we're going to do to test the sensor is I'm just going to very slowly and smoothly step on the accelerator. And what I want to see is a nice slow prog and steady progression up to its maximum voltage, which will be somewhere between 4 and 5 volts. There's no reason to, to worry about exactly how low this sensor goes as long as it's below 1 volt and how high it goes as long as it's higher than 4 volts. Um, the computer understands that that's idle and that's full throttle. But what's critical here is I have a nice smooth progression here as I slowly stepped on the gas and I got up to my wide open throttle position. Okay, so I, what I'm looking for is I didn't see any big wild spikes. If I had a, a worn spot in that sensor as I started to step on the accelerator pedal, I would have seen a bunch of noisy spikes probably going down to 0 volts and all the way up to 5 volts. And those are the things that would really throw off the computer and, and cause you some strange drivability problems. Uh, most likely would, you would get some hesitation when you step on the gas. You might have poor fuel economy. Um, so I'm going to slowly let off the accelerator pedal and be sure that it comes back down smoothly. And that looks real good. So I've made it just all the way back down to idle now. And again, I didn't see any very large noisy spikes that would indicate that I have a worn throttle position sensor. So that's it. That's how easy it is to tell that you've got a good sensor with AutoTap.